hilang semua platform Facebook tak ada WhatsApp tak ada semua kena ban tapi tetap nak bela kalian walaupun nyawa kami dan keluarga kami dalam sasaran ada yang anak dah mati pun kena bunuh ada yang anak dah mati pun kena bunuh ada yang anak dah mati pun kena bunuh ha, bukan kena jerut dekat, dekat tadika memang kena bunuh dan bapa dia sekarang Tuan YY pun sedang buat pembelaan untuk anak ni yang terdaya. sebab apa bapa dia anak dia kena anaya sebab bapa dia bagi tahu kepada rakyat jangan kena tipu Everything in this world is temporary. Life changes. People come and go. And seasons never last. So no matter what you're going through right now, always remember that your present situation is not your final destination. Don't give up. Put your hope in God. You will overcome it all. lines of many of our nation's biggest scandals and protests. From that perspective, I've been an eyewitness to the rise and fall of numerous people-powered movements. Nearly every organized resistance I've been a part of has ended just inches from victory for the same critical mistake. In fighting, when members of the same group turn against each other. It often begins with whispers about the most prominent spokespeople of the cause. These rumors typically sound like, I hear John is controlled opposition, or some people are saying Jane is compromised. While the use of infiltrators and agitators is a very real thing, I've yet to experience one scenario where such a label was accurately applied. And suspiciously, these labels are always branded on the people who are making the most progress. With the degradation of their reputation goes their contribution to your life. Prior to social media, people actually sat down to dialogue through their differences. Today, without solid evidence or sufficient inquiry, we go directly to our keyboards to vent our suspicions. Even after the rumor is proven false or simply fades away, some level of doubt and division always remains. This is all by design. The voices of propaganda are masterful at this game. They knowingly run a false story, then retract it, knowing the lie will reach millions, but very few will see the correction. The planting of divisive rumors is one of the most common tactics used in psychological warfare. As the lies bloom, like worker bees, well-intended citizens pollinate the masses with poisonous disinformation. What the gossiping bees fail to realize is that they themselves are doing the work of controlled opposition. They are literally, unwittingly, working on behalf of the very forces they believe they are resisting. Again, all of this is by design. While we've all been distracted by the latest trends and tragedies, everything that has influence on our behavior has been infiltrated by an agenda to control our thoughts. Whether their goal is to make us purchase a product, vote for a political party, or submit to experimental inoculations, there are forces at work who understand the functionalities of your mind far better than you do. Their goal is total control. But because they are the few and we are the many, they can only achieve total control through the age-old tactic of divide and conquer. Never before have we been so divided. Divided by politics, religion, nation, state, race, class, gender, and now, vaccine status. To better understand how we got here, consider these three quotes from The Art of War by Sun Tzu. The supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. Victorious warriors win first and then go to war. The secret lies in confusing the enemy so that he cannot fathom our real intent. Though Sun Tzu lived over 2,500 years ago, his work remains at the heart of our CIA as well as the Chinese Communist Party's strategy today. It's no coincidence that around the same era as Sun Tzu, the words, united we stand, divided we fall, were first recorded. It is unity that will save our communities. When the skies are falling, I hear 